So let me give you some timing regarding the Johnny Gosh case. So you can explain why things happened the way they did. Johnny Gosh gets abducted. Isn't it interesting that a child trafficking operation that's going on in Omaha, Nebraska, suddenly gets equated with one of three boys that disappear in another state in another town. Johnny Gosh was only one of three. Eugene Martin usually gets talked about. They don't even talk about the Mark Allen case. So everything that's going on in Omaha, Nebraska, gets equated with the Johnny Gosh case. Despite the fact that Todd Beckett was there, he was, what, 13 years old when he was abducted from the old market? But that never gets discussed. It's all about Johnny Gosh. And who abducted Johnny Gosh? Who was involved with Johnny Gosh? Michael Aquino. The very dude that's walking around on national television dressed as fucking Merlin. So people, if anyone wants to look into the Johnny Gosh case at the time, they look at Michael Aquino. He seems like an idiot on television with his little game that he was playing with Ted Gunderson. So it completely gets dismissed. And that's how it works. Then the situation comes up and, peep, and the whole Johnny Gosh case comes back up because it's never really gone away, especially since he was the first milk carton child. So the case of Johnny Gosh comes up and all of a sudden we have Jeff Gannon and everyone's saying that Jeff Gannon is Johnny Gosh. But Noreen Gosh, Johnny Gosh's mother, wrote a book where she said that her son came back and visited her as an adult. So the obvious question, I guess, that never got asked was, was Jeff Gannon the dude that came to your house? Was Jeff Gannon your son who came and visited you as an adult when he came back? But that question never got asked. Because it's all bullshit. Everyone wants to deal in the fanciful and nobody wants to deal with the specifics. The reality of the situation. The fact that Noreen Gosh has enough information to bust her son's abduction wide open and has for years and hasn't to this point. You know, but maybe it will be like the Jacob Wetterling case. When I went on to the John B. Wells show, Caravan to Midnight, spent two hours talking about how my family was connected to this 28-year-old cold case they couldn't solve. And then less than two weeks after that interview, they had solved the murder. They had a perp. Of course, he was already in prison. He wrote a confession and they got a body. It was never confirmed. And so, if you believe all that, you know, but everyone's believed everything thus far. Their bullshit games have been bullshit. And the things that they have you focused on are things they want you focused on. Because it's anything other than the truth. As far as Johnny Gosh goes, I don't know who was involved. I don't know if his dad was involved. But I know that Noreen Gosh has stood as the, as the gatekeeper for that case since it happened. So, if they want to talk about Johnny Gosh, that's the shit that I have to say. You know, other than the fact that Paul Bonacci was cured of multiple personality disorder, dissociative identity disorder, which was the worst case anybody have ever, has ever seen. If you go see him and his little videos with Ted Gunderson, but it, he was cured after five meetings with a priest. You know? If you believe that bullshit too, you know? How fucking stupid are people? You know? 
they'll just believe whatever the fuck it is they want to believe, no matter how nonsensical it is. 